Congratulations, my love. You broke the curse. You officially broke the curse. Now, I don't know what this is for you, okay, my love? I don't know what type of curse it could have been. Um, different things were coming to me as this message was coming in. Um, somebody had cursed your finances, your love life, your health, your purpose. Y'all, there's a lot of wickedness in this world, okay? A lot. And you have people here who have had masks on for a long time. People are really going to see how ugly these people are and who they actually are and have been to you and to others, right? That will be um, revealed. But there's a curse. There was some sort of spell that was placed on you or that someone attempted to place on you and it has been broken. Some of you, you've single-handedly broke it yourself. Um, <laughs> I heard something funny. Um, I heard something funny just then. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that. But yes, you, you ended a curse. You broke the curse. For some of you, it's not only that you broke the curse that was placed on you. You officially returned it to sender. And someone out there, they had launched very heavy and big spell work at you and um, curse and hex energy at you and just as big as that spell was it's gonna multiply it's gonna be three five ten times as big when it launches at the person and the people who placed it on you and this is happening and as i say that i perceive this energy of somebody running there's energies running from um this judgment Okay, there's energies that are running from this occurrence happening. They don't want this to go down. And there's really nothing they can do about it. If they sent it at you, whether they employed somebody or not, whether they're trying to hide behind a congregation, an organization, a brotherhood, um, definitely brotherhood, or a sisterhood, right? Depending on their gender and regardless of their gender, some of them are hiding behind a brotherhood or a sisterhood or an organization, a coven, a group of friends, a group of bitter women who are diseased, I heard. I don't know. But they've been hiding what they have been doing all these years and all this time behind their masks and behind these people. They are going to be uncovered and discovered and there is absolutely nothing that they can do to hide. I keep getting that. I literally see somebody like hiding behind stuff. Somebody could actually be hiding behind a tree in real life. So be mindful of your surroundings, whoever resonates with that. Because there was a lot of stalker energy, a lot of obsessive energy, a lot of mental instability okay going on so i feel like for some of you who have actually experienced a stalker in real life they could be hiding behind a tree like a fucking weirdo so really make sure that you pay attention to your surroundings okay um and like i was saying this person is scrambling trying to cover up their tracks it's almost as if what i'm getting right now they've done so much dirt they've deceived so many people They've lied so much that it's almost hard for them to realize where they need to fix things up. Like, what is the the leaky faucet? Where is it at? Which room is it in? They kind of cannot figure it out. They've done a lot of dirt. Someone also, like, <laughs> someone who does things like this, they absolutely tune into my platform, y'all. I've been saying that for years. I always know who watches me because that's what I'm meant to know, right? It's what I'm meant to know. I'm meant to know this stuff. It's just how I'm wired. Um, this person tunes into this platform as well as other platforms to try to figure out if they have been caught if people are on to them and yeah everybody's on to you bro 
everybody's on to you, sis. Yeah, they know. They know who you are and what you have done. There's no, there's no escape in it. I don't know what you're going to do. Judgment's here, and that's it. And for whoever is listening to this, you broke this curse. You broke the spell. You returned to sender, or you notified the authorities that this was going on, whether that's authorities in the physical reality or authorities in spirit. Either way, you notified somebody that this person or these people, they were behind something, and that's it. It's n I don't care what it is that they want to do or they think they can do to hurt you. It th That doesn't matter. It's just people are realizing who they are. And... For someone out there, it's almost as if, well, not almost, it is. Every single thing that they built was from siphoning energy from people, was from plotting, was from scheming, was from breaking spiritual laws to get it. And every single thing that they have is going to crumble because of that. Okay, and we've been saying this over the past year now. They launched warfare at a chosen one. They want launched warfare at you. So it's like, look, there's no coming back from this. I was saying this in other videos that many of the people who, who have done this, they are cursed for life. Some of them, even their next life, they have to make up what they have done to you specifically. Not even so much all the other people that they violated but it's literally like <laughs> it's literally like an ascended master coming from the heavens to teach wisdom and people just slaughter that person right we have a couple stories like that um it's kind of like that that person is forever um it's like forever cursed for some of these people and it's really sad because they've, they've built what they have off of the backs of people, off of spell work. They've placed spell work on their lovers, on their bosses, on their family. It's just so many people. They're placing spells and glamour and spells and illusions on these people so that you don't recognize them for who they are. But you, you broke the spell. You broke the curse. And... Whatever was placed on you, that's done. Whoever placed these things on you, they're in judgment right now and they cannot escape it. So some of you, you know who these people are and you can look at them and they may look fine, but you're able to see with the third eye, right? And you know that they're going through a lot of judgment. A lot of the things that they were hoping to gain um, a lot of the things that they were hoping to gain in this life is not going to come to them because of what they have done to you. And that's just what it is. And, you know, I want to congratulate whoever resonates with this message. You passed the test, whatever that was, you broke the curse, whatever that was, whether that was over your finances, your stability, your career. I was really picking up this for over a year now that somebody really wanted your destiny. They wanted it badly. Okay, I just saw my face when I said that. They wanted your destiny badly. They felt that they were given a shitty deal. They hate where they are and they wanted your path and they obviously can't have it but the thing is they tried so much stuff to stop you they've created so much conflict in order to get ahead that it's 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 got to end and it's ending today for some of them it's ending today all right and i know y'all gonna hit me up and tell me <laughs> i know you're gonna hit me up and tell me I know you're going to bring the receipts because the receipts are clear. It's out here. So, y'all, I'm going to get off this message. Um, but really, you, you broke the curse. The curse has ended. All the spell work has ended. All the attacks, especially from this particular person, has ended. If they, wow. I don't know. I kind of don't want to say that. But if they keep, if they somehow, I just got chills. I just got 
got chills and goosebumps. If they come at you again, a lot of these people are in danger of losing their lives. And that's just what it is. Have y'all, we've been talking about this for several months. Also a couple years we've been talking about this very message. There's somebody that keeps using spell work on other people and they keep using spell work on you. And they're on their last, their last prayer, y'all. Their last prayer, they're not going to be able to escape um, judgment. So it's a very interesting thing. But we don't care about that. <laughs> they, they waged warfare at you. A lot of them, they wanted you to not be here. They really, a lot of them did a lot of things to make sure that you can stop existing in this time and space there's no there's no leniency there's no mercy there's no oh my god I'm, I'm sure they didn't mean it there's none of that energy it's done it's done and i you know i feel like we could thank the divine feminine and we could thank the goddess for that because she's nobody to play with shit ain't sweet <laughs> with with her She's like, okay, well, what is your crime? And here's the punishment for that crime. And that's it. We don't care what kind of cologne you got on today. All right? We don't care how good you look in that dress. It's judgment day. Okay? So, again, congratulations. You successfully completed this level. You passed. You successfully annihilated the curses and the toxic cycles, and you are free, my love. You are free. All right, I am Tierra Chardé. All the information to donate is below. To book a service with me, all of that is also below. Get in on the Pussy Portal program. Get in on Sensual Worship Workshop. Get in on Spiritual Sex Magicians and Manifestation Workshop as well. Well, all right, I'll see y'all on the next message. Peace and love.